What's up, guys? Cute it is friends. Monday night with YCF Whoa. and Clutch. I'm here as well. And yeah, we're rocking the, uh, you know, we're in the Christmas spirit. I don't I'm know how to find it here at YCF. Well, Clutch is trying to actually find um, the stream on YouTube so Did we can be commenting with you guys. Yeah, just go to the channel. Just refresh. I'm on your channel. Refresh. No? How about search? Well, hopefully you guys are here and watching this. Um, it's your creative friends, and we've got a loose, another loose agenda today. Uh, I've got it written down here. We're going to be talking about some Lego movie sets because they are at Toys R Us. Um, not only the Lego movie sets, but you can also find these fun things. These are the Lego movie collectible minifigures. Uh, you probably saw our review on these, um, and I have this one specifically that I wanted to talk about. Did shoot a video, but no, you still can't find it. Uh, did shoot a video on it, Where but... Where did you promote this? What? On the channel. Uh, if you just go to the channel page, it should be there. I'm on your channel page. I don't know. Dad, how do you not know? You build computers sometimes. I do, but that's all right. I'm just going to assume that everyone else can see this. There's zero viewers. Well, on Google+. Plus, That's Google+. Plus. Oh. That won't tell you what's going on on YouTube. Well, I'll tell you what. If you're watching this on YouTube right now, let us know your name. Just say hi, and then I'll try and figure out a way where we can say hi back. So I'm going to go to my YouTube channel here. Sorry, guys, that this is a little hodgepodge, but that's just the way that these things are sometimes. YouTube.com. I'm going to go to my channel, Your Creative Friends, and it should just be... Not there. Not there. What's going on? Is it set to private or something? Oh, it might be set to private. That would be hard. Go to your live control room. That would be funny. Because people will be waiting, like, what's going on? They're three minutes late. I don't know how long I'm going to wait. It says live now, zero watching. Okay, edit. Boom. Public. Save and share. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. What's up, guys? Is YCF... That whole other part will be in there, too. Yeah, so if you're watching this after the that fact, there was like this whole other thing that went down. Uh, but anyway, if you're here and you're watching with us, sorry, we're a few minutes late. We're just getting all the technical stuff sorted out. Um, but go ahead and just say hi in the comments uh, so we know you're watching and we know you're hanging out with us. And then we can kind of get started with the show with Clutch, YCF, I'm Chad, Stud, Minifig, Clutch, oh. fun times. Um, so we have a loose agenda again. Hmm. We've got... The loosest agenda. The loosest of agendas. So we'll start off talking about some Lego movie sets. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to change this so I can actually see. We can see what we're talking about here. So we got, I don't know, 10 of the Lego movie sets today, Minifig? You did, you did yeah. We did, have, we did have a great haul today um, at Toys R Us. Uh, Toys R Us. Actually, uh, Clutch told us the other day that the Toys R Us near us has some sets. We went there this morning, and they had more sets than Clutch even said. So yeah, I was there score. yesterday, and they only had six. This is the same Toys R Us. And today, they had ten. They had ten. And two more boxes of figs. Yes. So uh, here is my Shakespeare fig. You got uh, three of them already. Yeah, so we'll talk more about the Shakespeare fig, why it's important, and maybe how you can help us. Uh, we need a lot of support uh, with the Shakespeare fig. Definitely. We're going to talk about Tublug. I know a lot of you guys watching right now have already sent emails in about Tublug. We created a Google group. We'll get more into that. Uh, we want to talk about how Tublug can also contribute to some of these conventions, including Philly Brickfest, which would be pretty sweet. And then, uh, lastly, there's some news, you know, just like in the week of Lego happenings. I'm sure you guys, if you're watching this channel, you know about the Lego Air car with the Air engine. Um, 
with which is a viral video that was just like on Ooh, all the Merry websites. Merry Christmas, Clutch and your creative friends. Merry Christmas to you guys too. So, so Clutch, who's hanging with us so far? Um, let's get some <laughs> shout outs going on. I am totally the guy on the other side of the room during the newscast. <laughs> I, I'm I'm monitoring the comments and commenting along. I'm just on my account instead of his account, <laughs> so there'll be no replies from him. Mm -hmm. I'm taking care of that. Um, SLJ Rocker 99 is in the house. Lego for Chris is in the house. Yeah, buddy. Alan's in the house. Yes, Alan. Alan, Brick fan? Yeah. Yeah. By the What's way. What's up, Alan? Brick Lever 18, all the way from Canada. All right. Yeah. Love it, guys. This Kelly's is fantastic. Here. All right, so let's get into the Lego movie sets. I mean, we've got a, a pretty good crowd right now. What have we built, what, five of them so far? Um, yeah, we built five of them so far. I so built two. Mommy built, built one. This is like a big family one. event. Yep. Five. So that's pretty cool. Um, we are going to talk about this one in detail right now. So Clutch built this set. This mm -hmm. is, what's it called? Oh, Castle Cavalry. What's pretty neat about this set, I didn't know it at the time because I wasn't paying attention, yeah, is that if you get two of that's these sets, now. you could build this castle. So I want to do that. Okay. So, so I think later this week uh, we'll probably it. go get another oh, copy right. and then build the castle after we do the review. So I'm just going to let Clutch kind of take it away and well, tell us about this set. I wanted to build this one over any of the other ones. Oh, wait, but I just want to cut you off for one second. Yeah. If you think this looks better with this, it's because Clutch is actually letting us use his webcam, the one that he got for Christmas, early Christmas present, which is better than the one that we have on the MacBook Pro. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, an external webcam has always been better than an internal webcam. Yeah, I love it. So all right, why don't you go do that, and then I'm going to find something to eat. Where are you going to find something to eat? You know where. In the brick shelf? There's not food in there. There's always food in the brick shelf. We got some little Caesars. Oh, yeah. You want some of this? Oh, yeah. Come on. All right. So I really like this castle uh, Vic Viper-esque spaceship when I first saw it because, well, it's, it's a spaceship, and it's Yay. completely nutty. I'm a big fan of absurd Lego. I'm not a real big fan of just standard things that look like real life. I want it to be whimsical and crazy, and that's what this is. It's a. Uh, I'm gonna show you the instructions for a better explanation here. So you can build it as a spaceship. Oh, it's a three booker. Well, it's 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 two booker and a one booker. Two booker. And a, that's three. Eh. <laughs> Last time I checked. Well, it's one, two, and a bonus book. The bonus book is if you want to build this as a castle. It oh. does come with instructions for a more normal-looking thing. We're definitely building a castle. That's going to be awesome. And it comes with one of these uh, black box robot things that's in all of the 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 most of the news movie sets. Uh, these are the bad guys, I guess. The the boxes, the black things are the bad guys. Yeah. Huh. I don't know what they do, but uh, this they, one... They grab minifigures. This one happens to have this uh, inline skate on the bottom that can fold up into it. Ooh, somebody lives in Pennsylvania. Uh, that's Ooh. awesome. <laughs> nice. Yum, pizza bite. And, um, okay. Yeah, it's, it's really good. It has a grabber arm. It has a minifig here. Uh, it's just a random... This is really mistake. hard. Pizza, it's cold. Here, I'll hold it. It's, I, there we go. The orientation is tough. So, uh, by the way, let us know in the comments if you have purchased any of these LEGO movie sets yet, or if you plan on getting them. It seems like there's really something for everybody Yeah. in these sets. Because even you built, like, a, um, the one with the horse, Where'd you put the which pizza? was, like, the flying... Oh, it's back in the shelf. Did you ah! Uh, you know, get yourself some pizza while I'm explaining things. Well... <laughs> You go ahead and eat and explain. Did you finish the you whole thing? You don't, you don't, you Did you talk about these other figs? So we just have, like, some castle figs? You don't care about that. It's not a superheroes or a Star Wars, so you don't care. What are you talking about? I have the castle right there. Look at that. King's Mexican castle. castle. King. <laughs> he says it's a Mexican castle because I fill that castle with all of those figs that we get early, and a lot of them do come from Mexico. So I guess the factory in Mexico... Those figs sneak out of sometimes. <laughs> and then they end up here. Yes. They end up on that castle. So, But I like that we get a couple of like the uh, the castle figs in this set. Now, interestingly, we were talking about this earlier. Who's the blue space guy? Benny. Benny. None of the sets have Benny. And, it, and it's kind of interesting because he's on all the posters. He's in all the advertisements. And you would think that we would get like the classic space 
blue spaceman somewhere along the lines. So it raises the question, will there be poly bags? Will mm -hmm. there be exclusive Lego store, spend $75, get Benny kind of deal? What do you think? I hope it's in a poly bag. I'm not talking right now. I'm just, I'm just enjoying my pizza, you know? You can enjoy it over there. Nice cold pizza. All right. Yeah, they, by the way, the pizza is not hot still. Yeah. Somebody nice asked. Cold, yeah. Oh, no. Kelly asked if the pizza's hot. No, it's... um. It's not heated in there. I got this about four and a half hours ago. We're all going to have crazy stomach problems tomorrow. Ha! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's how I live. But there's, there's a skeleton skull inside there somewhere. I don't know if you can see it. No. But I have a neat set. So anyhow, we'll probably do a full review on this later in the week. Yeah, so for this one, usually... All right, let me just finish eating this real quick. <laughs> oh, by take, the way... Take your time. Yep. Dad, yep. Lego Show TV said, Hi, Stud, you're awesome. How about me? Come on. You're awesome. This is, by the way, a way you do not want to do a live show. We're breaking all the rules. You're not supposed to like eat, undo, talking. It was me not caring. Eh. But anyway, whatever. That's um, all we do it here. So I like the thing I like best about this set is that you can build either a castle or a spaceship. I've and like most of the sets that have multiple builds, there are some parts you wind up only using for one or the other build. Mm -hmm. This one, there's no. I mean, there's the, the little few extra parts you always get in the set. But there's nothing you don't use in one or the other build. Actually, How do you know? I, actually, I can't confirm yet. that. I'm going to assume all parts are used in both builds. All right, so I don't know that for sure. Right, but, so uh, you know, usually if you're trying to use all the parts from one model to build something different, you're going to oh, wind up with extra stuff or things you can't use. This one does a really good job of using all the parts and not making it look, like, uh, wasteful. The other thing I find interesting is that they actually give you a book for the other build. So yeah. Usually, if there's like an alternate build, it's like online only, and then no one probably ever does it. But if you include the book, it's like, oh, what's that for? It makes you want to go buy another one. Or at least it does for me, but that's just because I have a Lego addiction. I have a question for Minifig and Stud. Yes. What is your question? Who's you that? Just, you can just ask it. S L J Rock. Yeah, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, throw them in the comments, and then... What is your favorite Lego movie set? So far? I saw somebody else ask that, too. All right, it's got to be um, Lord Business Evil Lair. Is that what it's called? Close the enough. big one. I just built that earlier. I like that one. And too. the Lord Business Fig... Oh, you know what? We should oh, grab that. Oh, Clutch, Clutch, too. Clutch, you have to answer that question, too. Oh, you have the same questions to answer? Oh, you gotta check out this big. Clutch. What's mm -hmm. your favorite in 2014? You're gonna go Set two. Hmm. I don't know. They're all over the place. Do you have a favorite one? No, I like all them the same. I think. I don't remember them. As that much. one. Yeah, I gotta the, go with that one. That's the um the dragon, the mech dragon. Definitely. And the reason I like that one is because it has a the Technic Cannon. I like oh actually this one's the Technic Cannons too. The Copter. That's a neat one. Who's Eddie? Alright, so if you haven't seen it yet, this is a minifigure. It's, it's actually huge. So this is Lord <laughs> Business. So you know who Evil Business or I'm sorry, President Business is? Well, this is President Business, but then he turns into, I guess, Evil Business, and that robe is just a giant tie, which has, has one hole in it that goes around his neck. Other thing that's really interesting about this, while it looks like it's a minifigure right here, this black part is actually connected to the leg. So here, I can kind of demonstrate it for you. So this does not pull off the leg. That is connected. One piece. Um, so that is really interesting and new. And let me just try and put this back together. But yeah, so this is a big gigantic minifigure. Um, the headpiece also, I mean, that is a head accessory piece. And then there's printing on the back to make him look more evil, I suppose. Ew. 
and good use of coffee mugs on top. So anyhow, this this is a minifigure that you get in that really big set, and I kind of like it. What's up? They're they're alive. It's not going to tell you how many comments there are. Okay, so moving on, uh, Lego for Chris. If you're still hanging on, um, we set up Tubelug. So Tubelug is getting more defined by the day, I guess. Mm -hmm. We've had a bunch of comments before about Tubelug and what is it, and we'll probably go ahead and make a vid that'll run on a couple of channels, kind of announcing definitely what it is, what all the rules are. But basically, it's still pretty loose right now. Um, when we first announced Tubelug, and again, a lug is a Lego user group, um, and if you have like 20 members, 25 members over the age of 18 that are part of your group, and you do displays every year, and you have regular meetings, and you have a website, after one year of doing all those things, you'll be officially recognized by the Lego group, and then they they'll sit you know hold on a second, and then they will send you lug support, which is you have access to buy bulk bricks, yeah. and they will send you sets. Oh, oh we're getting phone calls. Right, I'll answer that one. No, hold no. on. Um, have your but I, yeah, sure. But at, at any rate, it's something pretty cool to do. And I there are a couple of lugs that are global that aren't local. and Non-geographic. We, non-geographic, yes. So we felt that if we had one where it was just basically a group of Lego YouTubers that got together that joined a lug, um, that would be something really cool that we could start ourselves. Persistence. Man, we this is... This is, should we take this call? I don't know. Okay. No, I'd do it. I'd do it on my, <laughs> my channel. Oh, any, any day that I we... think it was a telemarketer. Um, but at any rate, I know I'm rambling about this, which is why we do want to create a video specifically about it that kind of lays out all the rules. But if you're interested, and a lot of you guys already sent me an email, send in an email to yourcreativefriends at gmail.com. I'll get back to you. We already started a Google group. In that group, there are a couple of items. Like if you have a Bricklink store, you can post your sales or what new sets you have in there and kind of like the members of the group or the members of the log, it's like we'll be notified first. So it could be like our own thing. Um, additionally, I'm hoping that at Philly Brickfest, the mocks or the creations that, that we all get to make, if you wanted to mail them, we could have a display of all tube log, all, so all basically creations of of two blog members all displayed in one spot. So for instance, Le Lego for Chris, you've been making all of these race cars that are, you know, different themes. I love the YouTube one. It's pretty cool. Yeah, she was telling me about the YouTube one that you made. So it's like, all right, you could send in like five or six of those race cars and we'll put them out and we'll have a two blog thing. Um, because it, again, to be recognized by Lego as a lug, you need to have these group displays. And I do plan and Chris do plans on traveling to other conventions uh, in the country in 2014, and as we do that, we can kind of always have like a tube lug layout. And, and clutch by Chris. Yeah, well, the, he's Chris and clutch. clutch. He's Chris too. They know. Clutch. So anyhow, uh, I know Brickzar has already joined. Brick Stackers has already joined. Uh, I, I can't. Motor submit, Junkie. <laughs> I can't submit. Um, has already comments. joined. It's no longer okay, letting on. me. Error. Uh. There's too much going on. Maybe because you're... Do you like Minecraft? Irrelevant. She likes Minecraft. I anyway, Minecraft. so if you have any questions about Tubelug, you can throw them in the comments, and then we can get to them in this video. And then uh, once we do the formal announcement, maybe anyone that has decided they want to be in Tubelug will kind of have like a similar video launch across all channels, kind of formally saying, like, we are Tubelug. And if you want to join, like, here's how, and here's what it entails, and all that fun stuff. So, <laughs> they want to know why I didn't continue reviewing the Ninjago sets. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> I know. Show them the Kai Fighter. Thanks, Minifig. Yeah. Or did you review that one? No, You're I didn't welcome. Review it. I just love the yeah. race cars. Look, here, I mean, I'm, like, ready to go with a lot of this stuff. Um, really, it all comes down to timing, and... Uh, I mean, that's just Jay's Storm Fighter in red. It's true. <laughs> but whatever. The, the point is that, you know, our time, our focus has been on Philly Brickfest, you know, putting on a convention where you expect, you know, over 10,000 people to show up and lots of AFOLs and lots of vendors is, uh, 
lot to coordinate, and really we've been focused on that, hyper-focused on that. So we really want that event to be awesome so we could have more events. Um, and, you know, maybe not only in Philadelphia, but maybe elsewhere. So stay tuned for that. All right. I want to talk about these Lego movie minifigures. Yeah. I also want to talk about the questions. I just want to have... Are there some questions? I just want There's to have... about 8,000 questions. There's just no I just way I'm going to keep up with these. Most of them are irrelevant. Well, let's pick some relevant ones. All right. Let's All right. just have this part of the video yep. of que just answering questions. Okay. Dad, I just realized you're going to fall off the chair. No, I just wanted to grab something for what I want to talk about next. Okay. All right. So let's see here. One, so, um, Lego for Chris said, um, I'm going to send you an email after this video. That's not a question. I'm just saying, he is. But awesome. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, Lego for Chris wants to know if we have a tube lug logo yet. No, but, no. um, Brick Stackers was working on no, one? No, James no. James Universe. Ja oh, James Universe. Oh, I'm getting everyone mixed up. James Universe was working on one. Uh, I think he was going to do, like, a brick built one. But I don't, there, the thing is with tube lug, there doesn't have to be just one logo. Like, there could be all kinds of logos. And, you know, whatever it is today, is, it's kind of like Google. When you go to the Google homepage, they always change it. So I'm down with, like, any type of iteration of two blog logos. Do you guys like these so, glasses on me? I don't know. It could be multi-logoed organization. Let's just go with that. All right. All right, next. Um, Kelly wants to join... She's also going to be at Philly Brickfest and uh, Brick Fair Virginia. Sweet. Also, um... Which we'll, I'll be at. I don't know if you're going to Brick Fair. Where? Virginia. Of course. It's, it's too close not to go. And New Jersey. Brick Fair in New Jersey. I'll yeah. be there too, yeah. So. Never heard of Brick Fair in New Jersey. Yeah. Somebody said who hates um, Google+. Plus. Well, that's I'm irrelevant. So. Do you... Yeah, no, no. Okay. Irrelevant. All right. I'll, I'll Any, field the questions. All right, go. Anything good? Um... So, uh, some people like to ask if they can ask a question before asking their question. You don't have to ask. Just ask your question. Yes. Um, they want to know what's your new favorite of the new Batman sets. <laughs> you don't know them, do you? No, you know what? Well, uh, just going by minifigures, I would probably have to say Riddler Chase. The Riddler one. Well, so you get the I mean, Riddler and you get Flash. It's and all you about get the minifigures anyway, right? Yeah, so that's The, the rest one. is just parts that don't go to minifigures. I would say that one. What do you need bricks for when there's minifigures? He's being sarcastic. Okay, go. What else? What else um, people want to know if there's a giveaway. Obviously, there's not. No, we're going to be... I, the last giveaway we did was the complete set of Series 11 minifigures. We gave oh God, the whole set away. Um, but no. Uh, once... You know what? Giveaways are, are, are a great way to build up a channel... Uh, when your channels are a certain size. And then after you like reach a threshold, it's really hard to manage. So we probably won't be doing any more giveaways. Who likes uh, cheese? I, sh I shouldn't say that. We won't be doing any more giveaways on this channel. But we will be doing other kinds of giveaways at live events. So it's really going to be all about the live events from here on out. So Because like we're doing an epic haul on when? Thursday? Thursday. So yeah. Christmas is Wednesday. It's and weird to have a video that's live and not in my format where I film it and then upload it and then schedule it and then yeah. eventually it publishes. So on Thursday, we're doing another Target epic haul run. And the three of us are going to be going out. Okay. And we've got the spy glasses. We've got phones. We've got cameras. We're going to be doing multiple camera angles, trying to hit like 10 to 15 targets and just, you know, poly going polybag crazy. And really, all that stuff is for giveaways at live events. So, first one being Philly Brickfest. So, we do like to give Lego away, but it's going to have to be in person. Keywords, first one. All right. Um, let's uh, see. A lot, I'll stay a question that. we're getting a lot of, which I actually I like this question, is what's your favorite of the movie figs? I guess from the series, that is. Oh. Um, so, from the collectible. Well, I kind of went through my top three favorites in that review, so I guess you could check that out. So I'll For me, that. I'm going to say Larry the Barista is my favorite, because that coffee cup is fantastic. I like Emmett. He's just the main... Uh, He's just... The, I mean, uh, he gets so many of them in the series minifigures, but I just like him, because he's the plain minifigure, and the, um... What is it called? The lead thing. The main of, character? The main character of the movie. I'm going to... You know what? Of the, uh, of the sets... You get Wild Style, 
Uh, we don't even know how many different wild styles there are. At least three. Like, yeah. yeah, so every wild style you get, so the one in the CMFs doesn't have, like, the regular legs. It just has, like, that slope. It's the piece. Wild West version. And then, uh, and then there are, like, other versions, like, that have the crazy, like, one, she's wearing, like, a hood, kind of like in um, the green hood in the Mirkwood Elf, sort of like a Mirkwood Elf-style hood, except black with printing on it, but it's rubbery. Uh, the other one, she has the hood back. Right. Oh, then there's a hoodie. There's a hoodie piece, actually. That's brand new. It's printed on the inside. So I, I guess Wild Style is one of my favorites from the. I like uh, that sets. question right there. All right. What's the one Lego set you dislike? Just for me. Yes. What the don't you like? The princess sets. That's pretty surprising there, out of you, mini fig. <laughs> I don't no, like. If you know her, she's not uh, your typical <laughs> princess girly. I mean, look at my shirt. I like Pearl Jam. That's right. Go to concerts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What else you got going on? Any more questions? Uh, there was one said, man, I'm not getting anything for Christmas. Hmm. That's not a question, but I just had to say that. Okay. That's just rough. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to move on to here while we're talking about the uh, minifigs. So I did talk about Shakespeare, and I know a lot of you guys have guessed this. So we've been doing those halls, uh, the Philly Brickfest halls, and these are the pieces that we've collected so far from Philly Brickfest. And I'm just going to really talk about the minifigure. There's no zombie in the Lego movie series? Well, the, no, they're the robots, but they look like zombies. Oh. Yeah. They, they can kind of pass for zombies. So anyway, this is the fig that we put together so far. And if we do this, if we take Shakespeare's hair and we put it on our fig here, who do we have? That's right, Ben Franklin. So we've I don't got. See this. I haven't seen the finished thing. Oh, you haven't seen Ben Franklin, so check it out. So he's going to be flying a kite. So his hand goes here, and he kind of holds the kite like this. So, and then his kite will be up. So we're going to do like a little diorama where he will kind of be in this enclosed plastic case. But again, this isn't the whole kite. This is just a piece of it. And then, I don't know if you guys saw, but here's the key that hangs off the kite, and that's how he discovers electricity, you know, the whole thing. So anyway, that's my Ben Franklin, and you will only be able to get this diorama uh, at Philly Brickfest. So here, what do you think? How's my Ben? I like it. What else can it's you okay. only get at Philly it's Brickfest? Okay. I don't know. What else can you only get there? Oh, the clutch thing! Yeah! Of course! It's only 20 count. 20, there's going to be about 100 of these. Oh, so here's the thing. And Lego just completely messed with me on this, but it's all for me, I need 100 of these. So, guys. Oh, here it is. Here's the call to action. Call to, guys. Hashtag call to action. Ben Franklin is awesome. We need Ben Franklin hair. So, like, I went and we bought, we bought, like, how many packs did we go through today? About 70 or 80. So we bought all the packs they had at Toys R Us. Well, he's a seller, so he's going to sell a bunch of them. I have. Right? But uh, but I was looking just for these, and of the 70 packs, there were only three, because there's only two of these in a case. So here's here it is, guys. If you're out and about, and you find a Shakespeare, uh, and you send it in to our P.O. Box, um, I'll, so I'll put a link, but if you don't know, we use it, like just go to any of our minifigure map our minifigure map vids, and you'll see the address there. So uh, P.O. Box 9D, Jamison, PA, 18929. And then I'll send you guys a Brick Warrior pack. I have them back there somewhere. So if you send me the the fig, the uh, Shakespeare fig, I'll send you a Brick Warrior pack, and they're about the same price. I mean, it's two ninety nine for a Brick Warrior pack, but you can't get them everywhere. I can get them for you from Ryan at Brick Warriors. I feel like you'll soon be able to get a yeah. lot more of them from Five Below. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you may. Well, yeah, but the Five Below isn't everywhere. That's the thing. Five Below is regional. It's. I looked it up. It's pretty big. It's like the whole East Coast and then Texas. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, you this is in the world. From the world. Years. This is the world. So, guys, help me out. If you have Shakespeare's, please need your Shakespeare's. So. All right. That's my thing on Shakespeare. Uh. <laughs> what else? Is Chris I wants a VIP pass to. Philly Brickfest. Uh, so what do you what 
<laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? Well, yeah, if you're part of Tublog, maybe the good things happen. Good things happen. You certainly part... get a sweet uh, badge with the Tublog brick on it. Yeah. So let's do it, man. You can you can have whatever you want. We we have some really cool stuff planned for the private days. Oh, we got uh, another question. All right, go ahead. All right. Have you guys get gotten any minifigures for the minifigure map yet? <sighs> yeah, we have tons. You have tons, just having gotten the chance it's, to the do same, it. So the same answer of how come you guys like didn't do the rest of the Ninjago stats? It's like because we have all this other stuff happening. Um, if you want stuff happening, you know, I come over to bricks on the dollar. There's a lot of stuff. Happening. He does a lot of stuff. So he does his. Have you guys been checking out his blog? Where yeah. it's like the daily deal stuff. Check it out. Even if you're not a, a seller, even if you just want to collect Lego or buy Lego for your kids or for yourself, and you want to make sure you get in the best deal, check out my blog, bricksonthedollar.com. We have another question. Um, what is your favorite Ninjago or Chima minifigure? That's a terrible question. Why would anyone want to answer that? Why? You're not into it? I'm not. I mean, it's not about minifigures. I still want to answer that To a lot question. of people, it's about minifigures. Well, then they don't really like Lego. Well, they're not maybe your typical a it's their, it's they're not, his opinion. They're just false. You guys can do whatever you want. All right, go ahead. Why don't you right. feel this question, minifigure? Okay, so... Clutch is unfiltered. I like Cole from Ninjago. I like the new Cole. The new Cole, because... Yeah. I just like... I just like, I just like how it looks, <laughs> you know? I just like Cole. Okay. And what about Chima? Chima. I like Legravis. Is that his name? Legravis? I like Razor. No, actually, wait. I like him. Gorzon. I like Razor. Razor. Yeah, I like the gorilla. Yes. Have you seen, and I'm going to go ahead and say no. No. Have you the, seen new the, ninja, the new Chima sets? There's the Spiders and the Scorpions and yes. the, uh, the Rhinos, Rhinos and the Bats. Yeah, they're going crazy with all the... My, um, my phone Merry Christmas. Up. Is it the comments from this? Michael. No. <laughs> uh... Yeah, yeah, I've seen all that stuff. The no, we don't have Mr. Gold. Oh, we may have Mr. Gold. Actually, all right, all right, all right. Fair <laughs> enough, fair enough. My, my mistake. So, I, I spoke too soon. Do you know why I'm here? Why don't you tell everyone why uh, I may have um, Mr. Gold? Stud here purchased about 8 million Series 10 figures <laughs> at uh, Kids Fest. Connecticut. Connecticut. Uh, uh, Hartford. Hartford in Connecticut. Right. Um, and we're going to go through them. Looking for Mr. Gold, just because, well, there are ten sealed cases, so we really owe it to ourselves to check if there's a Mr. Gold in there. Yeah. And, um... I'm going to try to... Like, not only sealed cases, like, still sealed in the Lego box that... That says toys on it. ...that it's shipped in. So it's, like, before the box is even opened, and then the sealed case comes out of that. So we're going to... We're going to look for Mr. Gold. We're going to take the rare ones out. No, well, first we're going to do this. Because I know he wants the rare ones. I want the rare ones. But first, we're going to do this. The reason I got ten cases... Anybody guess. I just want you to guess in the comments. They know why. There's a big Everybody delay. It's not worth waiting. waiting. Yeah. So so here's the thing. It, and it's back to Philly Breakfast. And I know I keep talking about this a lot, but it's been consuming my life. Um, we're going to do a game at Philly Breakfast. And it's going to be something like this. Um... Mm. You sign up for the game, and you're going to get a complete set of Series 10, <laughs> minus Mr. Gold. FOMs, they're fans of minifigures. <laughs> That's beautiful. Good work, Dan. Who came up with that? It's Dan. Yeah, <laughs> fan FOMs. Uh, yeah, the, why, why should I build the set when the first page shows me how to make the minifigures? Right. I'm out. See ya. Okay, so we're going to do a complete set of Series 10. You get it. You dump out all the parts oh, into, into a tub. You do not have your instruction book. You shake up the Tupperware of all the parts. And oh, the, now they're used. And then the first <laughs> one that can correctly assemble the whole series wins a set. So everyone that plays the game gets a whole set of Series 10, and then the winner, the person that builds them all the fastest, gets another set. So it's like Series 10, minifigure, speed build, madness. So... We're going to do that, but you need to be a registered attendee of the event, so that's going to be a Thursday, Friday, or Saturday night activity. So. I want to do it. Okay, okay. Uh, Dan, um, next Monday, you should come here for the, the live stream. I assume you're going to do one next yeah. Monday. Nothing going on. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Dan wants to help go through the minifigures. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, well, let's do it. 
Uh, we were talking before this about kind of making this Monday Night Live stream thing into a... A bigger thing. A, an onslaught of media where uh, there's a, a, a pre-game show on maybe my channel, the streams on, on YCF, and then, I don't know, maybe we have a post-game show on um, Dan's channel. Or it can rotate. Or it can rotate between, like, Which two block members. Classy bricks, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, or, you know, if they're, they're nearby or... I guess they don't have to be nearby. They could be anywhere. It's just, um, we won't be able to be in the, in the well, shot. Well, yeah, you could do a hangout. We could do, like, a good hangout. Little hangout <laughs> and just so there's really no hangout. beginning or end yes. to it. It's just all the time streaming. Hold always. on. What? You have a question? There's one. Mini fig. What's your favorite Lego? <laughs> what? Well, one was, what are brick warriors? Okay. That's a good question. All right. That is a good question. All right. I will answer that question. If you and guys want to answer another one question. had one for me. Which one was mine? What is my favorite Lego? Ugh. Not the princesses. Not Chima. Really? No. So I what is it? What's like... left? Mixels. Mixels. Oh. They're going to be fun. Mixels are going to be great. I don't know. I like City. Yeah, she's into City. All right, so this is Brick Warriors. These are premium minifigure accessories. And... This one kind of has, well, here, it may be easier to show you the box that they come in. Uh, so the side of the box. So so really, it's not the minifigures we're talking about. It's the accessories. So like right here, the ogre, you get a piece that goes on a minifigure, and then you can put two heads on it. So you can make a two-headed minifigure. And so then make it, an ogre Ben Franklin. Yeah, you can make an ogre, ogre. Shakespeare. And then the other cool one I really like is the dragon. So you get... You basically turn your minifigure into a dragon with a tail. Uh, anyhow, they come in packs like these, so you get you know five, six, or seven parts in, in every single one of these packs, and there are ten different packs. Um, so we send these out when people send us really anything um, for any like the other projects that we have going on in the channel. So yeah, if you hook, <laughs> if you hook me up with the Ben Franklin, then I'll look. I've got I've got a whole bag of them here. And not only that, but I can get basically an unlimited supply at any time um, because of, of our friends at Brick Warriors. Actually, Brick Warriors is only headquartered about an hour from my house. Um, I've, we've actually shot videos over there before uh, with Ryan, Thrash, and Nanda. Thrash. Uh, they have a YouTube channel, too, so if you want to... sometimes. YouTube, uh, just YouTube Brick Warriors. No, 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 no. It's, um, uh, or the Brick, Brick, News, Brick Network. News Network. Yeah, well, they have two channels. So Brick News Network and Brick Warriors, and you can see the silliness that they're up to. Um, but, yeah, they're always at all the conventions, too. Uh, Mixels suck. <laughs> we don't know yet about Mixels. Uh, Dan, Dan's in for the stream. All right, <laughs> so we'll, we'll set something up for next week. That'll be fun. Yeah, for sure. What else we got? What is your favorite? Because we're gonna start, we're gonna start winding down. So let's say five more minutes of live happiness, and then we'll uh, we'll wait until next week, and then maybe in between, then we'll start reviewing all these uh, movie sets and get them up for you. I'm digging Eddie from Sweden. He's and that's Eddie Norlander. He sent me the creator poly bag that's now in the states. Yes. And he sent me a message saying that he is also going to be sending something else that's exclusive. So I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be sweet. Well, what else is he saying? He's he's saying that um his mom saw my one of my videos and she thinks that I look like him. Oh, all Eddie. right. Does, we should just call you Eddie for now on. Eddie? Okay. Or not. That doesn't matter. I like clutch. And I'm going to get a lot of hate on the mixels. No one's into Mixels, but here's the thing. The Mixels, we're going to get that joint, that really but small ball joint. But they don't have joint. clown troopers in them. No, but it's really about building. In fact, they don't building. have any figs at all. Well, no, the FOMs will be disappointed. They're just not going to buy Mixels. Like, you mean they don't get a clone trooper and a free Sharpie? No, but, I mean, this is a minifigure. Look at that. Crazy minifigure. How did you list this on BrickLink as one minifigure? It's, yeah. That's, that's all one minifigure. Uh, the catalog admins are going to have a field day with that. Yeah, this thing's awesome. All right, well, I think, should we wrap it up? I like cheese. You like cheese? There's a, there's a real cool dude named Ben on here who really likes cheese. 
All right, so I guess the wrap-up is Lego Movie Sets. We're going to have some reviews coming your way. Maybe. I don't know. Tublug, if you want in, send us an email to yourcreativefriends at gmail.com. For Bricks on the Dollar action, check out bricksonthedollar.com for his blog and to buy Lego from mm -hmm. his amazing store in a dungeon. Mm -hmm. And it, I've used this webcam now. It's fine. It's, <laughs> it's no longer the dungeon? It's, it's, I mean, it doesn't have a window now, so... but. Uh. <laughs> and if you're going to be part of Tublog and you have some mocks, my own, cre mock, my own creation, your, your own designs that you want to display, definitely hit me up on the email. We'll talk about that, and hopefully we can have some space allocated for some Tublog action at, uh, at Philly Brick Press in April. So I guess we'll sign out for now. Thanks for watching, guys. This is so much fun. Um, if you have any suggestions <laughs> for us, come next time uh, for us to, to do something else than just banter. Um, we're uh, down for that. Clutch fashion. We're just going to keep talking until we need to, to take a drink because our throats hurt, and then we're going to keep talking some more. All right. It's time for some more pizza. See you guys next time. Stay creative. Peace. Peace.